If you're managing a team of contractors, you are going to love this video because I'm going to be breaking down one of the softer templates that allows you to install a no-code solution with just a few clicks and you can manage all of those contractor issues all in one place. If learning more about this is of interest to you, stick around and let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth and this is Gap Consulting, where we help you unlock the full potential of your no-code tools. And one of my favorite no-code tools is the one we're gonna be really breaking down today, Softer. Softer is an amazing no-code tool that allows us to build no-code applications either in the web or PWAs that can be downloaded right on a mobile device. And we can then manage all of our information right then and there. And of course, being that it's a no-code tool, it means you don't have to have any kind of coding knowledge to get it up and running, and everything is fully customizable. Softer has graciously given our audience a one-month trial of their pro account. If you want to take advantage of that, when you sign up for Softer, go ahead and log in and put in this coupon code, GAP underscore one month underscore pro. I'll be sure to include this coupon description with the video as well so that you can get one free month at Softer. So let's go ahead and hop on into the heart of the video and I invite you to follow along with me in your own Softer account. If you don't already have one, please consider signing up using our affiliate link. It's a great way for you to show some love back to the channel. I'll include that wherever you found this video. So the first place to start is actually on the template description page itself. Again, I'll link to that here so that you can access it. And what we're looking at here is a template that Softer has already made readily available. And as I mentioned, we can customize it for our own personal needs as needed. And this is called the Contractor Portal Template. So we can preview the template with just a simple click. It's going to open up in a new window and walk us through what the template would look like. But let's actually go into the heart of it and just get right into the nitty gritty. We're going to use this template. Now, if you haven't already signed into your Softer account, you'll be prompted to do so. Assuming that you are, in fact, logged into Softer, you'll see a screen very similar to this one where you can flip through different pages of the template and use the template. You'll also notice that here Softer is telling us that we can actually install the back end for this template in a database tool. In this particular case, Airtable is the supported backend database, but you should also note that you can use Softer on top of other software as well, like Google Sheets and SmartSuite, to name a few. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to use the template here. We'll select our data source. If you have a connection already established to Airtable, you can click and select it here. If you don't already have the connection, just follow the on-screen prompts and it'll take you to setting that all up. Now we need to copy this base into our Airtable account. And so with a simple click, we're able to add this database backend right into our Airtable and we can select the workspace where we want to store that. I'm going to add the base here to my Gap Consulting workspace. Takes just a moment to duplicate that base, create a copy for us, and then we'll be able to use this for our front end. So now that we're inside of the database that we just copied, we can take a quick look and see what we're working with. So we have users, jobs, timesheets, subcontractors, and project managers. Users usually is a table that we're going to leverage to connect to Softer, and this is gonna be the people who can access the application. So you'll have things like name, first name, last name, email address, et cetera. Over here on jobs, we can see the different jobs that we have for this particular organization. Of course, this is sample data that you'll wanna scrub out when you're launching your own application, and you can put in your own data from there. We have timesheets. This is where we're going to see subcontractors linking to the jobs and putting in time that they've performed on the various jobs that we have. Here are our subcontractors. And then lastly, our project managers. So let's flip back into Softer now to see the front end component. So going back to the previous tab, Softer now knows that we've correctly put that new database in our Airtable data. And it's now saying, if you'd like, we can put the application together. So with just a click, it's going to create from the template all the different elements that we need. The first part we're going to draw our attention to now is on the left hand side. We're going to look at pages. So each of these is its own page inside of our application. We have our home page and then we have some locked pages. We see with the locked icon, this insinuates that these particular pages are private to logged in users only. 
And this is perfect. When we build a web application, some of the things might be visible to all people on the web, but other parts are going to be visible only to people that we've granted access to. And so this is the magic of Softer. It's going to take the data that we have, in this case, in Airtable, and make it displayable here inside of our application based on user roles and various permissions. These users can also edit the data depending on what we allow them to edit, what we allow them to delete, etc. So here we have our home page. You can see that we have different navigation bars here at the top. This navigation bar in particular, if we click the element here and we go to visibility, we can see who is going to have access. So here project managers see one navigation bar and then the next one down, if we go to visibility here, this is for the subcontractors. So this is leveraging the power of permissions and different user roles. These user roles live in our users section over here and we assign different groups to them. So here, for example, we're going to see different groups, project managers that meet certain conditions and subcontractors. If we go in to look at this, we're going to see that there's a role field that we're using to evaluate what group these people are going to be added into. So if we flip back into Airtable and we go to our users table, this role field right here is what's dictating the various levels of permissions. And this is how in software we can say certain people see some things, certain people see other things. Depending on your user role, you're going to have different experiences inside of the application. So back in software now, now that we understand how the users have been established, we can go back to pages and explore that home page a little bit more. We see that here on the upper header, we have the dashboard jobs timesheets and new job. And then down here, we have all of the same things except for new job. So this is telling us that the managers, the people who belong to that particular group are going to be able to add new jobs to the application, whereas the subcontractors do not have that capability. Again, this is how we can limit what people have access to, how they create certain things and how they see various data points. So as a typical rule of thumb, we would then kind of peruse all the different pages. We can update the theme, update the colors, assign some branding, maybe come in with new photos and update the copy on the website. And then when we're ready, we publish this. We can just publish it. We can also set a custom domain for where we want this to land. And then ultimately, we're going to preview this application. Now, bear in mind, we are going to preview the app as a user inside of our system. Here you can see we're impersonating a non-logged in user. So we can't actually see anything in the application as a non-logged in user. We have to first sign in. Alternatively, we can impersonate someone else. In this case, Sophie from this example. So we can see that Sophie is a project manager. So if we click here, we're given a warning that, hey, any changes you make, you're actually going to see that reflected in your data source. That's fine. Let's move into the actual application. And now we're going to be impersonating a project manager inside of the system. So we can click into our dashboard if we so choose. And each different place we're going is a different page inside of our application. Here we can also go up to the navigation bar and we can see that we have dashboard jobs and timesheets. We can click through all of these different places and it's going to take us to the information inside of our application. Again, our particular application is built with sample data, but if we want to start adding actual things to it, we can simply do that by scrubbing the data source and updating it here. So here's a jobs, we have a filter, we can filter down by a certain tag, a certain tag here on the status and state, and we can go to timesheets. And this is where our subcontractors will be able to submit their time against the different jobs that they've worked on. We can see here which of those subcontractor times have been paid, which of those invoices are outstanding, et cetera. So there's a lot to unpack here, but this is an awesome way for you to create an in-house application where you can manage your subcontractors, manage your outstanding payments, manage your jobs, manage your timesheets, all of it in one source of truth. Before wrapping up, I want to invite you to join me for some automation training. If you like what you saw here today, no code automation is the thing that's going to unlock amazing amounts of time in your schedule. All those repetitive tasks that you do day in, day out, most likely can be automated. I'm going to teach you how to do it in my free automation training that you can grab at gapconsulting.io slash webinar dash registration. Go ahead and sign up. 
and you'll have instant access to that no code automation training. I know we went super fast in this video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them below. And in the meantime, keep on building.